Thank you. Thank you, Gopak Kumar. Wonderful session. There are a lot of questions coming up on this. Uh, there are particular questions from Upendra Purohit. He is asking page 11. Uh, yes. Minimum thickness of metal sheet. Please explain for Navi Mumbai International Airport Project. Um, can you take up that question, um, the third question from the Q&A? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. yes, yes. I, I got it. Uh, page 11 ISI 62305, main minimum thickness of metal sheet. Now let me share the screen for uh, uh, to understand what exactly it is. I hope the screen is visible now. Let us go to the standard page number 11. It is not in page number 11. It is, uh, yeah, here is the table. So, minimum thickness of metal sheet or metal pipes in air termination system. This part, what it explains is use of natural component. What is natural component? You have a PEB building with a metal sheet at the top. And that metal sheet is a good conductor. It can be used as a air termination provider. There are two points here. The metal sheet covering the structure to be protected provided. The electrical continuity between various parts is made durable. We have to test and ensure that the continuity resistances are lesser. The Thickness of the metal sheet is not less than the value T given in table 3. If it is not important to prevent puncture of the sheeting or to consider ignition of any readily combustible material underneath. That means you are building at the roof, you have a sheet. Under the building, you have so many things. It can be some explosive, it can be people walking, it can be some kind of uh, uh, probably uh, normal building or probably some warehouse for steel, for example. And now, the minimum thickness of uh, this much is necessary if you consider uh, uh, it is not important to prevent the puncture. The thickness of the steel of the metal sheet is not less than T given in table if it is necessary to take precaution against puncture or to consider hotspot problems. Now, in this particular case, for example, we don't use lead, titanium and all. We use galvalum sheet or uh, you see the stainless steel material. Now, if the thickness of the metal is more than 4 millimeters, which is rare, of course, uh, where these are used is sometimes the oil storage tanks. So if the thickness of the metal is more than four millimeters, lightning cannot uh, puncture this material. And, uh, you know, you can use that tank itself as your air termination. Number two, if the thickness is between four and uh, 0 0.5, actually in India, we don't use 0 0.5. I think our sheet is even thinner than this. If the thickness is between these two, 0 0.5 to 4 millimeters, lightning may create a puncture on the sheet and that puncture probably can ignite some other uh, uh, fire or some other accidents. If you wanted to avoid puncture, in this case, between 4 and 0 0.5, you have to use an air termination system. That means you make a mesh and connect the mesh to the sheet itself. You Avoid direct lightning hit onto the sheet. Very simple. And if the thickness of the sheet is lesser than 0 0.5 meter, it is dangerous to use the sheet as air terminal. You must require a properly used air termination system in the roof. Now, aluminum sheet on main head house 0 0.7 mm thick. So 0 0.7 m aluminum 0 0.65, if it is more than 0 0.65, of course 0 0.7 means lightning may puncture the aluminum sheet. You have to decide whether this puncture, you can live with this puncture or you can also live with the hot spots and arcings due to this puncture. If you cannot live with that, you have to put uh, an air termination at the top of uh, the roof. Preferably, you install an air termination and connect the air termination to the sheet itself, air termination mesh and connected to the sheet itself. That is the best method. I hope it's clear. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Such an elaborate um, you know, reply to Mr. Puro. I uh, hope uh, Upendra sir would have understood this. And there's one common question by Surendra Kumar and uh, Mr. 
Sekar Srinivas, how to select LPS level for high rise building? Yeah, the National Building Code has included uh, a table. The table, uh, I think I don't have it right now, or it will take time for me to search and find out. There is a table included in uh, the uh, National Building Code. If you can allow me two minutes, I will open the National Building Code and I will show you how to uh, guide it or how to read it. One moment, please. I am going to share you the National Building Code of India. Here is the National Building Code of India, 2016. You go to the volume number two. In volume number two, you go to part eight here. Part eight talks about building services. This is the part eight. Uh, building services consists of several sessions. Section one is about lighting. Section two is about electrical and allied service. You go to session two. Then you go to the clause number 11. Clause number 11 talks about uh, lightning protection of buildings. Then if you scroll down, you will see the uh, table, I think, I think the table two or three. One moment. Yeah, here, table five. Recommended LPL for a typical building. So here, computer data centers and military application and so on. Let me uh, zoom it a little bit so that you will be able to see it uh, properly. Computer data center, military application, you have to go for level one. Low rise hospitals and zones, uh, uh, EX zones, uh, you know, zone two. Then school, banks, residential buildings, uh, level three or four. This is a typical case. You can also do a risk assessment. That means uh, once when you ask us to do it, we will ask some questions or we send an Excel sheet to you. You have to fill up the sheet and we will put it or we will make the calculations and we tell you what minimum protection is required for your building. So based on risk assessment, you can make it. Either you go as per the NBC recommendation or you make a risk assessment. Thank you. Thank you, Gokumar. We have another passionate uh, member, Rakesh uh, Chaturvedi from uh, Delhi. Uh, he's asking, is lightning arrestor are mandatory for all tall buildings? Yes, uh, if we look at the regulation point of view, we see the what is mandatory or who makes it a mandatory. If you look at the electricity point of view, Electricity Act and the regulation, the CEA regulation says, regulation 36, buildings more than 15 meters height, uh, lightning protection as per ISIC 62305 is required. Now the regulation is changing in the new regulation, regulation number 38 says, uh, uh, large buildings require, uh, or buildings with more than 15 meters height uh, require uh, uh, lightning protection system. But then people will ask, okay, I have a, factory industrial shed which is only seven meters height whether this building require lighting protection or not yes of course uh, uh, these buildings also necessary uh, lighting protection is necessary the first question is whether the the owner of the building should decide whether you need the lighting protection or whether you need to protect your building or not because if the lightning is hitting your building you are only going to be in trouble so uh, Rule-wise, of course, more than 15 meter height uh, lightning protection is necessary. And if we go as per the National Building Code, uh, you can see I have shown you the table level 1, 2, 3, 4, depending upon the building is necessary. Industrial buildings, of course, uh, installing lightning protection is a good practice. It is, I would say, mandatory. Uh, so, there are, yeah, there are a lot of demand for a book on electrical safety and its standard. So if Mr. Gopakumar has an author, probably release a book on, uh, you know, uh, best practices on the electrical safety. I think that book becomes a bestseller. So anyway, the suggestion keep coming. Uh, going to Satishwaran, uh, he's asking, can we combine air insulation as well as brick insulation while considering? Yes. Uh, no, the worst case uh, need to be considered. That, uh, that was the note on the table. The worst case has to be considered. The brick has to be considered. You cannot combine. Okay. So many of you are asking whether I can I get this uh, presentation. Uh, I have been saying that the entire recording of this will be available. Um, as I said, one is in our uh, Sol blog. Uh, which we have already mentioned in the chat box, so you can go and get it. And also, will be circulating to all the participants. This video you can refer later. So yes, you will get the uh, recording of this video. <clears throat> and 
Sir, Susan Kumar Alai is asking, in large thermal power plant, hydrogen generation plant is installed away from the main units. Hydrogen plant consists of generation unit, filling unit, cylinder storage unit. Where shall we install lighting arrester on the rooftop of building or away from it? Uh, can you read the question again? Uh, it is... Uh, this is by Sushant Kumar. Alai. Is asking in large thermal plant, hydrogen okay. generation plant is installed away from main unit. Hydrogen plant consists of generation unit, filling unit, cylinder storage unit. Where shall we install the lightning arrester on on the roof uh, rooftop of building or away from it? Yes, for such uh, critical installations, uh, especially explosives uh, or highly uh, explosives, in that area, the ideal situation is to go for an isolated protection, means uh, a cantonary, for example, you have an uh, area, let us say 30 meter by 30 meter, uh, and the height of the cylinders and all together is, let us say, 10 meters. In that particular case, you can erect a three or four pole on the side of this particular area, away from the area, and you put a cantonary wire and protect it. Cantonary wire means a wire, like, a, you know, on the overhead line, the extra high voltage line, there is a wire running at the top of the, uh, the current carrying conductors. So like a, a cantonary wire, you can uh, make an isolated protection, and that is the best. I'll move on to uh, Priya Brata Mohanty. For building already constructed, is it required to provide insulator for down conductor installation? As in IEC 62305, it is written, if the wall is made of non-combustible material, then conductor can be positioned on the surface of the wall. Is it necessary to maintain separate, separate distance, separation distance if the wall is non-combustible material? Yes, of course. Uh, separation distance is mandatory. The question is whether the, the combustible material here, non-combustible material here is actually, when the current flows through the conductor, it produces a lot of heat. That particular heat shall not uh, create a problem to your, or it cannot, it could not ignite or it shall not ignite fire. Now here, the separation distance we are talking between the down conductor and the metallic uh, parts of uh, the building metallic parts of the building in the sense uh, the power line the rcc the other you know metal uh, for example the facade structure and so on separation distance is mandatory what is possible is in an existing building if you have not considered a separation distance we have a service what we do is we analyze the existing lightning protection system and we can make a retrofitting Retrofitting in the sense, you already have the columns, probably making some additional connections, the conditions can be met. So this we call as a retrofitting of or improvement in the existing lightning protection. We can do that, but we need to analyze it and we make it. We can go to the next question. Um, I think, uh, we need to have one webinar exclusive on Earthfit. There's too many questions on Earthfit that we though we've been touching upon, I think we need to have a dedicated update because um, uh, Divya, uh, Divya Kumar, uh, what is the recommended distance of earthquake from the building? So, and also I can see in the chat box, Latmini are asking about how many earthquakes is required for so many height of, you know, height of the building. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. How do you react to my request? Yeah, we can, uh, probably we can make a, a presentation exclusively on earth pits and uh, the earth electrodes in soil distances. Yeah. And so. Okay, Divesh Kumar, we will come soon with the dedicated webinar on earth pits and such protection and all that. Uh, so Priya Pratamhanti, I think, second question, as DGMS approved ESC terminal to be used in mines, would be really dangerous. ESC is not like what we read from the suppliers catalog. One rod, one down conductor and one earthing. Please uh, download the uh, the NFC standard, read it and understand it carefully and use it in mines. DGMS, I think I also saw a letter a few months back. They were asking to put some lightning protection. But the content of this letter, I'm not sure. I don't remember. Probably I can refer and answer. Uh, uh, Sandeepan Bhattacharya, 
Um, I want to uh, you know, tell all the audience who still uh, continue to listen to us, uh, uh, KEP Electrical conducts electrical safety audit. And they have done you know, hundreds of audit of various industries and commercial buildings. So I have already given the uh, email ID of Mr. Gopakumar. And you, you are requesting to you know, depute someone to your office to discuss practical aspects, structural earthing. Uh, he'll be more than happy to assist you. If you can uh, uh, reply, you know, send a mail to Mr. Gopakumar directly. I'm sure he has a huge man for across India. There are a lot of audits happening. They will give you right attention. Thank you, Sandeepan. So, Taral uh, Patel, how KA in different level are established? See, K stands only for kilo amperes. The, uh, the amount of current uh, which is uh, flowing or the it's a unit of current. Now, this current is of different types. It's a fault in a, in a uh, short circuit uh, current is in kilo ampere, but in one style. In a fault, earth fault, again in kilo ampere, probably in another style. In lightning case, uh, kilo ampere, but 10 by 350 microseconds. In case of surge, kilo ampere, 8 by 20 microseconds. So kilo ampere is only uh, the unit of measurement of current. Now the different types of currents are there in kilo ampere. The fault current is a little bit different. Short circuit condition probably different. Lightning current is different. Surge current is different and so on. Yeah. So over to you. Uh, yeah. Uh, Suresh Kamle is asking, can you use copper for air termination? Of course, yes. That is the best and the most preferred material, provided that no one should steal it. So, the best is copper. Best is copper. Okay, uh, same. Uh, Taral is asking, what can we do when building is already constructed? What best practices for protection? It's a, it's a, it's a general a uh, question that is thorough yeah. is asking. So I'll just move on. Uh, Actually, we can analyze and we can make improvement. The analysis and improvements are possible. Um, where can I find previous? As I said, all the previous recording of, you know, we have done over uh, 10, 15. Uh, those are available in uh, go to solvelv.com. Uh, in the blog, you'll find all the recordings of the previous uh, webinar again uh, solelv.com i have already given the link to you in the chat box please browse through that and you can visit and access to those uh, uh, recorded webinars uh, john uh, swami das is asking what should be the limit of resistance between air terminal and earth electron what is the limit of Resistance between air terminal and earth electrode. Uh, you mean he's asking the continuity resistance? Of course, 0 0.2 ohm, 200 milli ohm is the recommended uh, resistance. But uh, uh, I would recommend that uh, don't go near to 200. Probably you make it uh, half of that uh, or much, much lower. In our case, uh, we are doing a lot of projects across India, as I said. Uh, the continuity resistance, which I am happy, is always probably 50 milliohm or 25 milliohm, very small values. Okay. Uh, see, the, a lot of people without uh, naming, uh, you know, giving the names, they keep asking. You know, I personally don't feel comfortable to take up any anonymous, uh, you know, questions because we definitely not like to respond and um, correspond in the future. If the names are mentioned, I don't know why people have to, um, you know, hide the name and ask a question. So I'll skip this question, though it is important. But anyway, um, Amit Kumar is asking, sir, mostly fire occurred in short circuit. What type of precaution we adopted in building related to protect electric short circuit so that fire cannot? I think we have attended, we have done this uh, webinar on this electrical process. Yeah, four okay. programs. We did four programs. Four yeah. hours. What causes electrical fire? What causes electrical short circuit? Overloading. Many. I think I would request uh, Amit to visit again uh, solve uh, <clears throat> lv.com and you will find the answer or probably uh, uh, get you more awareness on this uh, question that you asked. Shanti Swaroop Rath, what should be the minimum safe distance of a down conductor from a building? 
what is the minimum safe distance uh, of town can be performed okay, of course it depends on the size of the building uh, the distance from the equipotential bonding we have to actually make that calculation probably in a building it is 10 1 meter or maybe in another case maybe 6 meter or maybe 2 meter it depends on the building yeah i will uh, repeat the website solve s o l v solve s o l v e solve l v low voltage l v dot com it is not e l v dot com it's a solve s o l v e v uh, yeah um, low voltage l v dot com solve i'll just post it again uh, yeah mr gopu kumar has just mentioned the website where you can find his blog and also all the recording of the previous uh, webinar so uh, sunil is asking how dynasphere how i have spelled it properly suitable for air termination type lps so how dynasphere dynasphere okay, uh, okay. how dynasphere suitable over air termination type lps yes it is actually very much suitable for the manufacturer to make a lot of money <laughs> but for the user <laughs> it is equal to an iron rod you have an iron rod or an aluminum rod 2 meters long and dynasphere equals a 2 meter aluminum rod or a copper rod so what is advantages of course advantages for the manufacturer to make a story and make a lot of money the production cost probably 5000 rupees but the selling cost is 75000 rupees propaganda business esc please read the esc standard understand how it is explained and use it but of course the national building code already banned the usage of non standard lighting protection system such as early streamer emission controlled streamer emission and uh, the dissipation array system non standards are no more recommended in india over to you mr dominic hey, mr balas bramanam is asking uh, in case if there is a communication and lift control components placed in the terrace what is the recommendation of lps and earthing system should we have to make interconnection between lps and earthing lps and earthing conductor yes actually here the subject uh, it's a very good question the uh, uh, we have to make a shielding bonding with spds so here more than lightning protection system the indirect effect of lightning may kill your uh, electronics we need to ensure that the electronics is protected or the electrical systems are protected you need to have filter sometime you need to have spd sometime you need to look at the routing of the wires shielding of the wires and so on that is a subject which is internal protection probably we will make a presentation on internal protection maybe in next time okay uh, i'm more to prasad he has two question i'll take first question now do you recommend lps for the building which are near to cell phone tower where lps is fixed if the building is closer to the tower of course a direct lightning strike chance of a direct lightning strike is lesser we have to analyze it whether the building is protected or not if the building is protected uh, from a direct lightning strike due to the height of the tower of course you don't need it but please understand that indirect effect of lightning that means the conduction of current through the soil may destroy your electrical and electronic system so you need a very good equipotential bonding and spds uh prasad second question some cases observed lps directly connected to lightning pole of 20 meters and lv cable also directly connected to the metallic pole is it correct to connect lv cables where lightning pole acting as lightning purpose as well as uh, dis uh, dis dis dissipation of lightning actually the question is not clear for me some cases not of clear. the lps yes probably we will make it uh, next time because we have so uh, many we will uh, talk to you you know uh, answer when uh, time permits uh, prasad uh, mr oh, so. you can brief uh, no, 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 refrain your a uh, question and send a mail to mr gopu kumar which i will begin posted we will definitely i uh, you know like to answer to your question and uh, if you look at him uh, he gets after each webinar he gets almost uh, an 80 to 90 emails directly and he never missed even one 
um, question. So he is a man who can share continuous knowledge. So rest assured, your answer, your question will be answered. Uh, again, Divesh Kumar, what is the recommended distance of Earthbeat from the building? I think we already told you, we'll come back to you on the special webinar on Earthbeat, which is, seems to be quite you know, uh, interesting for many. We will come back to you on that. So Mahesh Kumar, is a required separate earthing electrode to, to, for, for each down conductor. Of course, yes. Each down conductor, you need to have either a ring uh, uh, all around the building, interconnecting all the down conductors, or if you go for a type A earthing electrode, each down conductor should have one earth electrode. Now, another uh, point which I wanted to add you add is uh, uh, we are getting actually a lot of hundreds of questions. Sometimes we may be able to take up only you know few of the questions. In that case, in the blog which we are making in solvewellbe.com, there the questions and the answers are also included. So in the blog, you can uh, probably tomorrow, day after tomorrow, if you look at a uh, lot of answers, uh, the question and answers as a table is also included. Please uh, go through it. Okay. Uh, Kailash is asking, while putting horizontal and vertical transverse conductors on roof, since we use separator in rainy season, if water touches the conductor, what will happen? One moment. While putting horizontal and vertical transverse conductors on roof, since we use separators in rainy season, if water touches the conductor, number one, if water touches the, the conductor, it, the conductor may be corroded. Life will be very less. And uh, if the conductor contact, if the continuity resistances are uh, very good, then uh, the chance of further damage is not existing. But Imagine the air termination is damaged due to some reason and if the current is trying to flow through the water, then there can be some uh, bigger issues which is still under uh, research. So I don't want to comment on that particular part. Thank you. I think I'll take uh, two more questions uh, related to today's subject. If it is out there, uh, you know, uh, Taral, you've been asking do you have any data on thunder per year? I don't know which city, where, how. I don't know if there is data available on number of thunder that occurs in India. Yeah. That is there. It is included in uh, National Building Code. You can find it out from the National Building Code. You can download National Building Code at free of cost uh, from the BIS website and please go through it. It is included already. So does it uh, does it say that number of thunders occurs in India? Yes, number of thunderstorm days, city-wise. So there is a list of, I think, about 100 plus cities and uh, or, or, or let us say districts and uh, how many average number of thunderstorm days per annum is given. Because for risk assessment, this is the basic data which is required. So P.U. Patil asking, there will be chances of flashes to the side, structure, side of structure. So what is the solution for that? If you wanted to avoid, there are two solutions. If you wanted to keep uh, the lightning protection away, keep it uh, far away, like the calculation which I told, five meters away from the building, which is practically not possible. The best way is you connect it to the building, you integrate into the building, like the use as a natural component. Okay, um, one last question, uh, you know, Satishwaran is asking, I think a uh, lot many people are quite interested in solve. Uh, LV. So they're asking, can you explain how to become a partner uh, or a you know certified partner of uh, uh, Sol LV? So could you talk a little bit more about uh, that, uh, uh, Gopakumar? Yeah. Uh, actually, the idea of Sol LV is, uh, uh, you know, about two years back, once when the COVID started, uh, we started making uh, awareness classes on online. Earlier we were doing, you know, doing uh, online was not common, but after COVID, uh, online started, uh, classes started. And during the first uh, three months of uh, COVID, I did almost 122 hour classes. So out of that, then people started asking, okay, the verification of building, testing of the building, IS732, which is uh, the equivalent is followed worldwide, but in India, we don't have the habit of doing proper testing, which is also the main reason for fire due to short circuit. How can we handle it? 
then i tried to uh, educate a lot of safety auditors to do this safety audit but after one year i re we realized that it is a big failure because people try always try to misinterpret and then it was actually uh, with my name people started claiming that uh, mr gopagumar told to do this gopagumar told to do that and then finally people started installing a lot of earth electrodes in soil and all then what we did is we started developing a software which will be working as an interactive platform between the client and us so that the the people can ask questions uh, the questions are already included in the software and the software will guide you how to make an electrical safety audit as per the standard i stress as per the standard means the IEC 60364 standard for low voltage application and there are some IEC standards for high voltage application if an electrical installation is uh, uh, verified or inspected and tested as per these IEC standards you can be sure that the chance of failure and the uh, chance of reduction of the life of this installation will be very much lesser you get a very highly reliable electrical installation so solve is an interactive platform digital platform which we are still developing we are trying to make it a, a kind of an artificial uh, you know you know uh, uh, intelligent thank you. platform thank you thank you for explaining about uh, the purpose of solelv.com um it is always a great pleasure to host uh, mr gopakumar's uh, uh, presentation or a webinar and uh, you could see maybe on your on his linkedin you can follow Gokumar on his LinkedIn or a Cape Electric uh, LinkedIn. Um, there are many more, um, you know, webinars. He's been at, at at least two in a week. I could see that he's been talking about it. And uh, very soon we will uh, release the next webinar in August that we will be doing it. Um, we will, uh, you know, inform you well in advance, and you may register and properly. You can also invite your friends and contact our business partners for this. um thank you so much for uh, cape electric for uh, you know partnering with us and continuously supporting blue and gray um, you know i'm very happy that we associated for so long and i hope that we continue this association and reach the awareness program that we intend uh, uh, to make our country a proud country a safe country an electrical safe country uh, in the world so thank you very much you all of you have a wonderful weekend and stay safe have a wonderful time with your family and look forward to see you again thank you very much god bless you all thank you thanks thanks to all the participants as i said the answers please look at the blog probably after two days all the questions will be answered on the blog if we are unable to answer now thank you very much see you all next time